Hello and welcome to this brand new tutorial and today we're gonna learn how to recreate George Canest intro for his tutorial. Take a look at this. Today we're gonna create this. Okay, let's get started. First, we have to. Uh, before we gonna start, uh, make sure to download the project file link in in the descri description. Okay, let's hide all these layers and start with the baseline. All we have here is a line and these two handles. Let's animate the line first. Go to add and add the trim path. Make like 15 yes. Add keyframes here Move forward to 1 second or 25 frames And then another keyframe 0, 100 keyframes Select your keyframes Add 9 first And you have this anyway but we need the handles to follow the line animation too so what we have to do is to go to the right handle and the left handle and click on P to reveal the position properties add the keyframe go to the end of the line of an animation and add another keyframe go back to the first keyframes and click control space how now we have this kind of animation but it's as you can see it's not following the line animation that's because we have an animation easy is here but we don't have anything here. so select your keyframes click F9 to easy is go to the graph editor Dark like so. And you have to do the same as you did to the line. There you have it. Now we have the base animation of the line. Now let's move on to the main circle and square. To animate this we have to animate the scale and yeah on the scale. So click S to reveal the scale properties, add keyframe, go to 25 keyframe, add another one. Here we need to Make this at zero, zero, zero. And nine, go to the graph editor, remove this like so. But we need to offset these keyframes. This will maybe come first. No, okay. As you can see, it's easy to make these things move. Now let's animate the corners, these little handles. 
first we have to burn them to the main square and we have to that's all my all you need to do maybe uh, we animate the rotation of, uh, go backward 45 see that only three frames f9 craft editor Maybe we animate the scale too. To zero to four. F nine. We forget to animate the scale too for the right and left handles. So we have to do that now because you can see here that we we don't have to see it at first. this literal this is just uh, the same as uh, the main square I only have a trim path on it to do that to animate these uh, corners we have to do the same we print them to the main square animate the rotation of them both events of mine drag a handle like this maybe only for to be fast maybe I don't need to limit them at all now let's animate the three circles outline circles <laughs> Let's animate the scale and the position. Click U to reveal all the keyframes. Move there. For the position, you have to make them all at the same place in the center. It doesn't have to be uh, the same position as you can see here. You see this? And for the third one here. And for the scale, we need this to be like that.
select all your keyframes F9 all timers maybe the position come here Let's keep it light. I'm trying to make the animation take the animation take longer. That's pretty much it. Like, you know, we just need now to. Uh, this handles is just the line like this. You have to edit on have one here. One. Maybe animate the opacity for this because I don't want this to appear like this. Zero. Another tip, guys don't animate the opacity, never do that, never make it easy. Ease. Now you can offset all these layers. Now let's add this handle. Just drag them like this. You can see this. Compare them to the separate this you can see this right and just duplicate and reposition whatever you want them to be like this duplicate rotate
this have to be the parent to the second one duplicate rotate points behind and this to the third one there you have it In the next tutorial, we're gonna make this. This is what we. If you, if you take more time on this, you can make this. That's what I did in like two hours. Let's make it render. You can see. And this is just the fast blur. Motion blur. In the next uh, tutorial, we're gonna make this one. Let's uh, make it render. As you can see, it's just easy to make. It's just uh... okay, guys. That's it for this tutorial. Make sure to like this tutorial and subscribe for more. This is motivate me to make more recreations like this. And I see you on the next video. Peace. Hello.